All right, yesterday as I was waiting to be picked up to go to the Marine birthday dinner, I uh, played around with this clay and almost got the head of the horse done in the half hour I sat down here. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish it off today and then I've, I'll put it on the uh, horse and we'll see how it looks. Time to play with some clay. I've got some real good pictures of uh, a horse trying to bite another horse. And uh, what I did was I just flipped the pictures so I can kind of look at it uh, when I'm working on each side of the head and uh, note the eyes and everything like that. And I'm noticing the ears aren't flat back, but kind of flattened to the side. Hmm, interesting. Might have to think about that. All right. This one's gonna, this, actually, this head actually came together faster than the other one did because I guess because I got a lot of practice on the uh, last one. All right, the uh, white round ball you see is actually some self-hardening clay that I made the eyeballs out of so that I could do exactly what I'm doing now without disturbing or cutting into the eyeball. Um, 
I just didn't want to have the eyeball all distorted but with all the working I'd have to do around it. And so I made it out of this uh, self-hardening clay that you can get on the web. Actually, I got this clay from uh, Amazon.com. Okay, it's time to uh, take the head off the uh, jig that I've got here and put it onto the horse itself. I'm really surprised how fast I did this piece. Anyway, I'll be uh, right back. All right, I've got uh, the uh, horses repositioned on a new board. That's a little bit bigger, so I've got a little more room to put a base on this uh, board. You gotta have enough room at the edge of your base so that the mold maker can uh, do his job without having the uh, rubber going off the board and the uh, plaster. I'm still a little close on this side, but I think I'm going to be okay. Okay, I'm going to reposition the horse. I didn't see this, but I'm looking at the photograph of the uh, two horses fighting, and uh, I need to reposition him. There we go. Like that. I'm thinking. Let's see how that looks all the way around. Yeah, that looks good. I'm looking at the composition. And uh, 
I think that's good. Now I have to reposition the head of this horse so that uh, it looks like he's reaching up for the other horse's neck. good. I want to bend that horse's neck just a little bit. good. You can really see at this angle that horse's mouth trying to take a nip out of his neck. All right, now I've got to remove this horse so I can start working on the horse. back here for now and clamp it to my sculpting stand with my clamp so it doesn't go falling over but now that I got the head positioned where I want it I can take this uh, board off and put it to aside until I'm ready to use it Okay, I've got this on the uh, raised box so that I can work on the neck and the shoulders and stuff like that. And I'm uh, going to anchor this down onto the uh, box so I can work on it without it having to flop it around. <laughs> Now you can see why I did that horse's head separate from the horse's body. It uh, would have been impossible to uh, sculpt this head the way it is right now. I'm going to try to sketch in the uh, neck of the horse right now. And uh, I think that's probably all the time I'm going to have to do today. Got a good, a good curve into that uh, back of the neck, and I just don't have enough clay to do that, so <clears throat> much better. Just going to basically fill in the neck and I'll come back tomorrow and uh, I probably will lower the horse again to work on that side of the neck and then I'll put it back up here to work on this side of the neck and uh, I just got to make sure that the lines look good from this side of the neck too and I can't see that in the position it's in right now.
yeah I got a little too quick on my uh, setting this up the way I just did with the uh, box underneath it I've got to work out the neck on this side first before I can start doing the neck on this side all right I'll see you guys tomorrow or at least the next time and we'll see how far I can get good night everybody if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel it really would help me also check out the link below this video it will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting good night everybody